Hello guys, Keep Right On TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can get 50 likes and if you haven't already, make sure to drop a sub. Now today's video is going to be the match preview for Coventry City versus Birmingham City, Saturday, 3 o'clock kickoff. Of course, there's only two games to go until the season comes to a conclusion. And thank God it's come to a, a, a conclusion, because this has been another season of utter mediocrity from Blues. Of course, this is, this is a derby as well. Uh, let's get into the opposition team as always. So Coventry City, Coventry City sit in fifth place, 44 games played, they're on 66 points. But I know they're sitting in fifth place, but look at look at the teams that are chasing them. Look at the chasing pack. Right, Coventry 66, Sunderland 65, Millwall 65, Blackburn 65, West Brom 63, Preston 63, Norwich 62. Swansea, even Swansea in 12th has still got a slim chance of getting the playoffs. This is a crazy, crazy season in terms of the playoff race. Of course, we already know that Burnley and Sheffield United are already promoted to the Premier League, but Coventry, they haven't actually lost in the last five games. Three draws and two wins. The top goal scorer is um, Victor Goretz. No, it's not Victor. Victor um, Goyo Carez. Goyo Carez. I can't pronounce that name, to be fair. Yeah, he's got 21 goals. They've also got players like um, Gustavo Hammer on eight goals. Matt Godin, eight goals. Um, and of course, as well, um, Coventry are going to be looking to um, return to the Premier League. I don't actually know what season they are. When was the last time Coventry were in the Premier League? I can't actually remember. It was a long time ago. I know that. It must be like 20 years plus. Of course, the last time we played Coventry, it was a nil-nil draw at St Andrews as well. When we play Coventry, it tends to be a boring nil-nil draw. Apart from the time that, that um, apart from the time they slaughtered us. 4-2 at our place at St Andrews. Getting on to Blues, of course, we had that 1-0 garbage, garbage performance against Blackpool, losing 1-0 to a team that are fighting for relegation. To be fair, like I said in my match review for the um, Blackpool game, I kind of expected that to happen. Um, so Blues, let's get into Blues. So 17th place, played 44 games. We've only won one out of the last five games, winning one, um, drawing two and losing two. We sit in 17th place, 53 points. Um, I can't see a world where we finish anywhere. Um, we're not going to be finishing below 17th place. We can the highest we can finish now, realistically, it's it's 16th or 17th. So yeah, I mean, it's been. I, I, I'm guessing that it's been a season of progress, a tiny, tiny bit of progress because we've not hardly been in a relegation battle this season. We've been. At least six points or above clear of the bottom three. But yeah, the team I would start for uh, start for the game this Saturday, I would have um, average in goal, um, Dean, not, not Dean, sorry, Long and Roberts as the two centre-backs, Trusty left back. I know I said we should play Longello in that Blackpool game, but, you know, Trusty's back and available now. So, yeah, why not start him as the left back? Right back, Colin. The two in the middle. Now, I know I said as well that I would start Jordan James for the Blackpool game, but... I don't really think we can get away with that. I think it should be Bielik and Bakuna as the two central midfielders. Then, um, well, it's interesting really because he played Hannibal. He played Hannibal, Bellingham. He played Hannibal, Hannibal and Bellingham on the wings. So I don't know what I don't know what's gonna I don't know what um, he's gonna play to be fair in this game. So I would go with. Um, well, I'll go with Bellingham in that cam roll. Hopefully, Kadra's back. Oh, yeah, he had Chong in that cam roll against Blackpool. Chong in that cam, um, cam roll. And then Hannibal and Bellingham on either wing. So, I don't think we can afford to do that this time, really. Um, I would have Bellingham, like I said. If Kadra's fit, you've got to start Kadra and you've got to start Chong, haven't you? And then up front, if, by the way, if uh, Kadra's not available, probably throw Hannibal um, out wide again. And then Jukovic, like I said, up top. It seems like I'm repeating myself. A load of times this video. I don't know what I don't know what's going on. To be fair, because it's, it's probably because the season's coming to a close. But yeah, this game, this game against Coventry this Saturday, we have nothing to play for. It's a derby. Coventry are gonna obviously be up for it. They need the points. They need they need the points desperately. Even a, even a draw in this game could see Coventry come from come down uh, from fifth place to like eighth or ninth. But yeah, my score predictions for this game. I hate to say it, but I know we've actually drew the last four away games to Coventry 0-0. If you count the game in the FA Cup, technically that was an away game. I know it was played at our stadium, but yeah, I'm going to go for a 3-0 win to Coventry. I'm sorry. I think you saw you saw against Blackpool, 
when safety is confirmed, when survival is confirmed, we just, I don't know, we'll go off the ropes. But yeah, anyways, thank you for your time on TV. Make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to subscribe to the channel. Let's see if we've got 50 likes. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching as always. Keep on time.